Hi everybody, so tonight I'm going to be making um, marble cupcakes with chocolate frosting. So I'm going to start with the uh, vanilla batter and then I'm going to do the chocolate batter after. So first things first is I'm going to do two cups of all-purpose flour. You can always um, substitute with almond flour or um, oat flour or you can even mix like I used to do um, gluten-free flour and tapioca flour. The only thing is that you got to be aware of is that um, the consistency will change which will affect the the um, the time in the oven. That's one cup. Oh, goodness, I'm running out of flour here. Ah! That's two. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm actually going to make um, some flax eggs. So I'll be right back. So my flax egg recipe is pretty standard. Um, I'm doing two tablespoons of milled flaxseed, and then I mix it with three tablespoons of cold water. So I have my cold water. Whoa, one, two, and three. I'm gonna mix that up and leave it aside for about five minutes. So while that sets, um, I'm going to add some baking powder and baking soda. So because I'm doing two batters, I'm not really going to put a lot in each one. Um, so I'm going to do a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. And then when I do the um, chocolate batter, I'll put the same thing. just a chaotic mess right now. So now I'm going to go to the next step. Right, so now I'm going to add in my favorite coconut sugar. Of course you can always substitute this with uh, brown sugar, any kind of sweetener that you want. For me this is just convenient. <laughs> going to do a third cup of coconut sugar. So okay, so now I'm going to get my trusty uh, mixer tool thing. <laughs> And I'm going to mix this up, then I'm going to add the wet ingredients. Okay, so now I'm going to add in, I'm going to say two tablespoons, or no, I'm going to say one to two tablespoons of vanilla. And the reason is because we want a vanilla um, cake to mix in with the chocolate. So there's one. I'm just going to start with that and then um, before I mix it in with the chocolate, I'll see if I need to add more. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my flax eggs. I made um, two, technically. so. Put that in here as well. And now I'm going to add in the almond milk. So I'm using almond milk. You can honestly use any kind of milk um, that you prefer. It's all the same. So I'm going to start with half a cup and then kind of see if I need to add more.
So I'm going to add another cup, making it one whole cup of uh, almond flour, or almond milk. <laughs> Okay, so this is the consistency that I'm looking for. It's a little more on the liquidy side, but it's still pretty firm. So this way, when we go to swirl it in with the chocolate, it can um, set properly in the oven. So what I'm going to do is add another um, half of a tablespoon of vanilla, just because it's, it's personal preference, to be honest. You don't have to. If you like the way that it tastes now, you can just kind of leave it, but if you want a more um, powerful vanilla taste, come along with me. <laughs> okay, so I added in um, half a tablespoon of uh, vanilla and gave it a quick mix and it, I like the taste a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna leave this aside and move on to the chocolate. So first things first, I'm going to start with cocoa powder and I'm going to put a lot. <laughs> I'm going to put about a cup to start. I know that's a lot, but this is to... Um replace the flour. So I'm making a flourless um, chocolate cake here to mix in with the cupcakes. So I'm going to pack it down. Whoa. That's one cup. I might do two to be honest, because if I'm doing two cups of flour, I'll do two cups of uh, cocoa powder as well. And I think it'll give it a nice um, balance of vanilla and chocolate. Oh my goodness, I'm already almost out of cocoa powder. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same as before. I'm going to do one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. So what I'm actually going to do is make another um, two flax eggs to put into the chocolate uh, cake as well. Just, um, what I am going to do to kind of balance out the heaviness of the cocoa um, is put more almond milk. <laughs> so here we go. So I'm not going to put any uh, vanilla into this portion. You can if you want, um, just to kind of balance out the flavor of the chocolate, you could always put like a teaspoon, something very small. Um, whoa. Uh, I'm gonna start with a cup. I am mixing this by hand, so it might take me a bit longer. But I am going to start with um, a cup and then kind of go from there. Before I start mixing, I'm actually gonna add in the flax eggs. This thing, like I, lo I love the ratio that I use because it doesn't take a long time for it to set. 
it takes maybe about five minutes but it's like the perfect con consistency every time So I definitely need to add more. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add more. Add in half a cup and mix. Not bad, but still need to keep going. Now we're at two cups. Amazing. Like I said, we do kind of want it in a bit of a liquidy state. Not too liquidy where it's like soup, but um, liquid enough to where it's easy to swirl it in with the vanilla. Clean the house today so I'm a bit tired. <laughs> My upper body is not so good. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add um, a quarter cup. So now we're at about two cups and a quarter. So let's see if that brings it to the right consistency. Perfect. You can already see it forming better. Yes, this is exactly like what we want. So if I need to reference it to anything, it's kind of like chocolate pudding. This is perfect. This will mix in nicely with the uh, vanilla. it. That is very bitter. But that's okay. Alright, so I've got my cupcake tin already lined and I ran out of liner so I just kind of buttered it. Now I'm going to add um, one scoop. I have my ice cream scoop here. And I have a quarter cup measure in case you don't have an ice cream scoop. Um, so I'm going to add one scoop of vanilla and one scoop of chocolate and hopefully it works out. This is so full, oh my goodness. Okay, so I would say just under a quarter cup of vanilla, or of each, because this is a lot. <laughs> They're gonna be big cupcakes, I can tell you. Okay, so now I have these toothpicks here. I'm gonna take one. And I'm just going to kind of swirl around in there. 
So this is what they came out. I ended up baking them for around 22 minutes, so anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. It came out really well, if I do say so myself. And there's the inside. Very moist. I'm fudgy. Also, I didn't end up doing the icing, but I'll still post the recipe in the description below.